kids, <laughs> this is, uh, you know, most places, uh, kids, well, everywhere I've been, they want to know why. A lot of kids, I mean, it's you got to tell them why. You're, these kids here, for some reason, uh, they don't ask questions. And uh, they. I didn't have to explain anything to them. Nobody said anything. I just said, hey, we're meeting at this time, and that's what we're doing. And they just showed up. So uh, it, it was really not, not a big deal. Uh, they're used to working all summer, so getting up in the morning is not a big deal to them guys. 6.30, no big deal. So, yeah, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. It's hard for my coaches. Them guys with hard ones get up there sometimes. <laughs> uh, do you get the impression they're having fun with this, uh, this strong start? Yes. Uh, that was our, uh, our big, man, we, we, something we've done this year is, is we've made this fun. For years, it's always been about the grind, about outworking everybody, about just work, 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 work. That's all it's been, and, and that's what we did last year, and it was work for everybody. Uh, this year, it's more we're having fun, and our practices, uh, man, our kids, we have fun. And I know there are coaches out there that, that would come watch one of my practices and think, man, that's not right. That's not the way it's supposed to look. Kids aren't supposed to be, you know, loosey-goosey is the word. They're not supposed to be jacking around or, or whatever but but we still we get our we get it done we get our work done um, we, we work out we, we run but but we feel like it has to be fun and, and, and it's a game in the end it's still a game and uh, that has really helped us out on on uh, I haven't had to uh, work as hard as at motivating kids that hadn't been a, an issue it just this this uh, I don't know I don't want to call it philosophy but the way we've done it this year I, I hadn't had to work as hard getting our kids to show up uh, or, to, or to just have fun out there. Practice, game, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, can we actually start with uh, the morning practices? Because Coach had mentioned that it was something you guys started this year. Um, how was it the first couple times, and you know, are you used to it now? Uh, we were used to it since last two days, because uh, that's how we, got, we were getting up that early last two days. And this time when we transitioned into the school year, we just, just still normal. We're still getting up at the same time, getting up here, doing the same work and everything. That big deal. What about you, Mike? Uh, uh, yeah, we're used to it. Hey, it's not too new. We've been doing it in two days, so. We're used to getting up early did. and working hard anyways. Yeah. During the summer. Got our jobs. Yeah. See? Some I'm jobs, too. You want to repeat everything I say? Yeah, because <laughs> I do work for some of <laughs> So there, there wasn't one sleepy face on the entire team. Oh, we were, we were, we were always tired, but once you came out here and started working, getting, some, getting the blood flow, we were all right. Everybody relaxed, started that you see. get a few hitting drills in, wake everybody up. Tell which one's going to Texas A&M, don't you? Huh? That's where you're going to go? Yeah, I got accepted today. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah, what? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm told there's a few tech fans around, so I think it might be an unpopular decision, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the strong start, um, Coach had mentioned when he took over last year, there wasn't necessarily, um, he didn't feel that you guys were going to have the strongest of years, and you end up with a strong year, definitely above 500. This year, 5-0. and um, How about the start? Has it been fun to jump out like this? Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, we just came out here and started working. We, everybody seemed to buy into the system last year. We had a few skeptics. And this year, it seemed like everybody just bought in and put in their time. And that, that's helped a lot. How about um, Zach Wars and Trailer Jackson emerging as you know, sort of receiving targets for Michael? Zach Wattis, another another great story. Uh, a year ago, uh, he was out with the back injury most of the year. Um, it was one of them injuries where they didn't want him to play. Uh, couldn't play basketball, couldn't play anything. It, uh, what the doctor said, it, it could, uh, if he re-injured it, it could be something pretty bad. Uh, you know, even at one point they said if he could, he'd never walk again or something crazy. But, but uh, he, he uh, started working out and they got it reevaluated and they, they gave him the go ahead to come uh, place of football uh, and uh, so basically he's a, he's a junior Zach is a junior and uh, oh he may have played two games for us last year he's 125 maybe 130 pounds he plays inside linebacker for us which uh, he has to go against all the big uh, big guys up front he leads our team in tackles right now as an inside linebacker uh, 
on defense. Offensively, um, he's a small guy, uh, hard to see, but he gets open, and uh, he's been he's been a target for Michael this year. Uh, trailer uh, last year, big thing about Trailer, uh, he ran track for us, and uh, over that track season, he just kept getting faster and faster, and he was able to reach his top speed. And, and now, a year ago, he really wasn't a fast guy that, that we would consider right. him having speed. Now we feel like like we can go to him and. and uh, we feel track really helped him reach that top speed.